YouTube and I bought myself a new microphone and I'm trying desperately to get it to work without me sounding extremely lispy at like that I just sound like a snake every time I say something with an S it's like spss on the end of every single word I say so I'm trying to like not pronounce S's like I would normally just so I can kind of narrate this thing without hating the sound of my own voice so much that I don't want to upload it I must have narrated this thing like 12 times already so without further ado I'm just gonna lead out with my Mercro this is an Evie like Mercro set and um, it's actually working pretty well and Zach's gonna lead out with Duckless this is Mono Duck versus Mono Flying and uh, he's gonna swap out there and bring in his blackmail which is his Emolga as I go for a Carmine because I desperately need to use Carmine to boost my special defense and um, that's gonna boost my special defense by one stage and my special attack by one stage and I'm just gonna go for another one there I'm gonna get the priority obviously because of the prankster so um, that's a easy plus two to attack and well special attack and special defense which is really useful he's gonna go for a volt switch there which is going to um, do a pretty decent amount like I wasn't expecting it to uh, hit as hard as it did because of those boosts but then I kind of am max defense and not max special defense so um, it did kind of hit me for quite a bit so he's gonna bring in his butterfree there as I go for a roost uh, I went for a roost expecting him to go for an another electric type move that wasn't for, well I, I don't know what I was doing so I went to roost to hit heal my HP obviously and he's gonna go for a quiver dance there and um, he's gonna go for a infestation on me here and the infestation actually scores him a crit and I'm not being funny he actually gets two crits two flinches in this battle and what do I get nothing RNG just freaking hates me so I'm gonna go for a dark pulse there and um, do a pretty decent amount I'm pretty sure the quiver dance at the two times special defense saved that butterfree um, and I'm gonna take that infestation damage there as well which is uh, kind of sucky. He's gonna go for a sleep powder there, but I'm gonna avoid. So maybe that's my bit of luck for that battle, is that avoid, which, an avoid equals the same amount as two crits, two flinches. That's how RNG works for me. So I'm gonna take out that butterfree with another dark pulse, and I'm just gonna roost up in the face of this Mulga. Hopefully to negate my flying typing if he decided to go for another Volt Switch. But he actually is gonna go for an Agility, which some of you might think is strange, but um, he's actually running the Electro Ball, so it makes pretty good sense for him to be going for an Agility. So I'm gonna go for another Priority Calm Mind in the hope that I can survive something that this thing throws at me. So um, I'm gonna throw up that Calm Mind there, and um, he's gonna go for the Electro Ball. This actually does nowhere near as much as I thought it was going to do. I'm not sure whether it was that last car mine that did it, whether it's just not as fast, as, uh, not as fast, not as powerful as Volt Switch. So he's going to go for another agility there, and I'm just going to go for Dark Pulse. I don't really want to faff around trying to negate my flying type in and boost up when this thing has the power to probably kill me. So uh, I'm usually going to take that out with the Dark Pulse, and that is the end of the Amolga. In comes this far fetched again. I'm just going to go for another Dark Pulse. And um, I was hoping to take this thing out, but obviously he is Focus Sash, so I can't get past that Sash in one shot, which is unfortunate. And he is going to go for an Agility as well. So he's got a pretty agile bird team while flying team, which is pretty scary because he's going to go for the Flail. And even though I have max HP, max physical defense, that is going to take me out. Um, the Held item, is it Stick or Leak or something for Farfetch? Uh, doubles his attack I think so that probably helped out. Uh, I made, made a mistake here, I swapped into Sharpedo then swapped out into Umbreon. I should probably have stayed in the Sharpedo, gone for Protect, got a speed boost and uh, gone for a waterfall. So instead I'm going to swap into Umbreon and use my Rocky Helmet to, um, what's the word? Use my Rocky Helmet as a way of kind of dealing damage to this thing and the thing will die to the recoil of the Rocky Helmet without me having to actually um, use any attacks or anything. But I totally forgot that he had this Yamega who was going to come in and bug buzz my ass. And even though I'm max HP, max special defense, Umbreon was not going to survive that. So that is the end of my beautiful Umbreon. <laughs> Poor Mr. Mooney. So uh, he's going to get another speed boost, which is giving him plus... No, he's just going to get one. So he's at plus one speed. So I'm going to swap into my own speed boost here, which is Sharpedo. In a kind of feeble attempt to maybe outspeed it which was never going to happen anyway so it was kind of waste and he's going to get his second crit of the match and um, not that it matters because I was Sash but still I'm getting pretty pissed I don't land any crits ever when I land a crit it's usually on one HP when it didn't even matter 
So um, he's going to get another speed boost there, I'm going to get my speed boost, he's still obviously going to outspeed me, even if I went for a protect here, he'd still be 3 up and I'd be 2, so it wouldn't really matter. And he's going to go for an ancient power. So he's trying to get some cheeky little boosts whilst trying to kill me there, and I'm telling you now, if he'd have got those boosts, that would have just been RNG proper just hating me then, because that would just be too unfair. So I'm going to swap into Hang Doom here, and um, I'm going to go for the Mega, this is a Mega Hang Doom, I'm kind of playing with it. I'm kind of enjoying it. Part of me wants me. Part of me wants to put protect on it, and I kind of want to put destiny bonds on it as well. So I'm still kind of messing with the set. I'm not sure yet. So um, it's a pretty standard nasty pot set anyway. So I'm actually going to survive that ancient power. And I was like, wow, I wasn't expecting to survive that. I know it's not a very um high power move, but I still thought it would kill me. So I'm able to retaliate there with a flamethrower of my own and take that thing out, which is good. So he's going to bring in his crowbat. He's going to go straight up for a nasty pot. He's not messing around. He knows what he's doing. So he's going to go for a nasty pot there to boost his special attack. And I'm going to go for the dark pulse. Unfortunately, I am not going to take that thing out. So if I had destiny bond, that would have been a good time to go for destiny bond. So we could have played the destiny bond nasty plot game. So he's going to go for an air slash there and finish me off. Unfortunately, it lands as well. So that is going to take me out. And that is the end of Paul Houndoom. He's gone back to the underworld. And that crowbat is going to get some black sludge recovery as well. And it's time for me to send in Hydrogen as bittersweet revenge. I know Hydrogen's got some decent special defense. I can easily survive an air slash. Key was just not to get flinched. And of course, I get flinched because RNG hates me. So I'm going to get flinched and he's going to get more HP recovery. I had a choice spec Dragon Pulse going his way as well. And he's going to finish me off with another air slash. And of course, it lands as well. I mean, my Togekiss misses air slashes left, right, and center. So, oh. I was just not impressed. So um, I'm going to bring in my Scrafty here, who's obviously going to survive a two-time special attack air slash. And it actually does. Like, I know there was sarcasm there, but it actually does, and I'm so surprised. But of course I get flinched as well, so uh, it wouldn't have even mattered because um, I just died either way. But I was very impressed that he actually managed to survive that. I mean, I have no idea how, but... Um, Maybe I, I, he rolled minimum damage or something, but um, I actually managed to survive. And he's going to play it safe for the sludge bomb towards the end, not wanting to risk an air slash missing. He had enough luck that match and didn't want to, you know, play it cocky. So that is the end of the battle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was so close. It was really clutch. Kind of went from uh, Mercro was kind of getting his sweep on, and then Yamega was sweeping, and then Houndoom was clawing it back. And oh, those flinches in the end were kind of clutch. But I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. And as much as I enjoyed playing it, and um, <coughs> sorry, and if you're not subscribed, then please subscribe and leave a like, and uh, I will reply to as many comments as I can below as well. So, um, I'm thinking of oh, what was it? I've lost my train of thought. I was thinking of uploading um, a Pokemon Nuzlocke for you guys, but I want you to kind of let me know if you want me to do that because it's going to be a hell of a lot of work for me to design the layout and constantly record all the episodes like every other day or whatever so let me know if you want to see it because I don't want to put all that effort in if you guys aren't going to want to watch it so let me know if you want me to do a Nuzlocke because I was hoping I could do it on stream as well I'm hoping now I have a new microphone to be able to set up OBS and Twitch and stuff sometime this week although I am working Friday, Saturday, Sunday full days and in the evenings I'll probably be so shattered I'm just going to go straight to sleep so um, I'll try and get all that kind of stuff sorted soon and uh, hopefully I can stream and do awesome Nuzlocks and stuff for you guys, but if you don't want to um, see a Nuzlocke, then just tell me because that's fine. And if you want to see more team builds, want to see something else that preferably isn't VGC because I just don't enjoy playing VGC. There's so many other poker tubers and stuff online that do VGC that I don't see what the point in me doing it would be because I'm not going to play as well as everyone else is. I don't like double battles really I mean I don't mind doing some but not VGC standard where you just have spore and it just doesn't interest me at all and it's all gonna be like sweaty boring megas which don't even take skill well, well they do like I'm not gonna say that VGC players aren't skilled because they really really are and like some battles that I watch are amazing how people like predict choice scarves and bluff bands and all sorts it's amazing but I just don't like those kind of Pokemon where you just know what's, you just look at it and you're like, oh, look, it's Rotom Wash, will o -Wisp, Trick, Volt Switch, Pain Split, Hydro Pump, you just know exactly what set it's going to have. 
or oh look it's Maggie Kang is it going to have fake out is it going to have drain punch is it going to have knock off is it going to have crunch is it, it's, I don't know it's just oh look more while well, sucker punch it's just something about it doesn't interest me so if you guys have any other suggestions other than VGC then I will be open to um, probably take them and um, would really really enjoy doing it however if a bunch of you really want VGC then I guess I'll have no choice if that's what you all really really want to see but like I said there's so many other people that do that kind of style on YouTube that I don't really see why you'd want to watch it. Unless you wanted me to do mono VGC, which would probably be impossible and I'd probably just get totally obliterated every match. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this battle anyway. I'm going to stop rambling on now because I've been rambling for ages. Uh, love you guys and I will see you around. Goodbye.